Welcome to the Slightly Biased Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Slightly Biased Podcast with Derek, Vinny, and Grayson. Welcome back and thanks for listening. All right, let us talk about our weeks. But first, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today besides our weeks. Grayson, what are we talking about? And Vinny. Uh, I had a troubling bathroom experience. You had a troubling bathroom experience? No, it was experience? cool. Wait, okay. that's, is that part of your week or is that going to be a whole it's gonna segment? It's going to be part of my week. Oh, no, I'm talking things that are just we got, little segments. Well, we, got, we have Grayson's Space Corner. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that. And we got... Uh, we don't have a topic this week. We, we, we got some news in our weeks, and, and we'll Derek, probably rant into a topic. And Derek's sports updates. Sports. It's S- in the game. Sports with Derek. And Caroline's Corner. Caroline's Car- Cat Corner. Caroline's Cat Corner. The best segment ever. All right. Grace, Grayson or Vinny? Or Vinny? Grayson. Vinny. Derek. Grayson. Vinny, take it off. What's today? Thursday? Thursday. Uh, So I ran two miles yesterday. Woo! Congratulations. Have, we have the, impressive. the BAA 5K on Saturday. Wow. At 8 a.m. Are you going to carb load the night before? Have some pasta. Nice. Carb load. But um, you don't want pesto. Why don't you want pesto? It's, my tummy's, it's, it's a little strong on my tummy sometimes. A little acidic. It's I didn't the know, acid. I've never thought of pesto to be an acidic food. Me neither. I don't know. Vinny has, has a sensitive my tum. tummy. Caroline, a sensitive tummy. Caroline do you own. find pesto to be acidic? Just nod your head. No, no. she shook her head. She does not. It's just my tummy. It's special. That's what my mom says. I have a special tummy. How, how, I want to know uh, what the update is on your special uh, belt that keeps your pant, your shirt tucked in. I think everybody should buy one. Oh yeah, can you can you grab it? I want to see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go to I guess my week. Yeah. My week uh, has been full of apartment hunting. Oh um, yeah. Yep. I'm moving out. Uh, Got to be out by May one. Okay. And um, I I had a couple leads on an apartment. Uh, a couple apartments and every oh god <laughs> his pants are down okay uh every time i got close to an apartment they uh were like nope never mind sorry we we can't we, you can't you can't have that one why uh various different reasons one of them got taken by someone else too quick the one that i really wanted <laughs> he looks like such a dork <laughs> you had to wear a button down not with you want me to wear it i'm literally no. wearing a button down you want i mean what's your waist size it's probably one. It's probably the same as yours. What size is your waist? My waist or my hips? What size pants do you wear? Thirty-two. Yeah, I wear thirty-four. as bucko. Because that's not a waist size. It's a hip oh size, my bro. God. How anyway, was your week. Um, I've been doing my apartment hunting. Uh, the first apartment I wanted got taken before I could do it. Uh, the second apartment I wanted, uh, the current occupant chose to extend his lease, so I couldn't take it because he changed his mind. Um, even though he's the one who listed it, which is fucking weird. And then, um, the third one I wanted, I found out that I probably can't afford it. So I am instead going to sublet again. From where? Mission Hill. Around, Where's Mission Hill? Around Northeastern. Oh. I, ca- I like that area. Yeah. So I'm probably gonna, it's, it's a pretty nice apartment. I'm excited. It has a spiral staircase in the middle Did of it. Did you try Malden? Wow. For an apartment? Or was no, just I'm not, not going to look in Malden. No, I'm just looking in Austin, basically. Yeah. Maybe maybe Brighton, but... So what, you gave up already, though? You already gave up? No, I'm, well, I'm going to I'm gonna probably try and pursue this place, this apartment. How, what's, how long is sublet for? Till August 30th. Till September, September 1st. So you're going to do like three moves in a year? Yeah. That's also, it's gonna you're going to you're gonna rent at the most expensive time of the year. Yeah. But it's also the time when most apartments are available. Yeah. So, I don't think you can win. No, there's no winning. And they're like you can look for an apartment that's not available September first, but good fucking luck finding one. No wonder they're all cheap because no one wants, no one's looking for them at that time. There's fewer available, so good luck finding a good one or one you like or one you want. And uh, yeah, and it's not a, it's not even a relevant question because I have to do. You could try a real do. estate agent. I've been doing that. Oh. And that's why it's so fucking expensive I have because they charge yeah. four times the a month of rent. Four? Yeah, I have an idea. Four times wow. a single month just to just to get into a place. I My mean, God, fuck because, that. Yeah, you ever try? You ever try? You ever try fucking signing a twelve month lease in an apartment? 
Yeah, we and Derek did it, but it yeah. wasn't that much. Yeah. Well, did, what, what did you do? Pay three three times? No broker? I think fee? it was double. Double? What was it? Two first, times the rent. First and last in security? No, for the real estate. Are we talking about the agent the listing fee? The agent, it was only one month, I think. Yeah. Okay. What are you, what are you saying, though? I'm saying the places I was looking at they when, wanted when I was four going, months? they wanted four months total. The first thing down was the first month. So the first month yeah. in the application fee. Okay. To hold it, yeah. to hold the apartment for yeah, you, yeah, yeah, and you can do that four months in advance. You can do that anytime, as soon as it's from its from when it's listed to when it's available. You can do that anytime, but you know it's an application fee of like forty to fifty bucks or whatever, and then the first month you put that down. They charge application fees now. Yeah, they charge application fees, so you can get your credit check or whatever. Fucking bullshit. Paula but, did this, and oh, did she? yeah. Then up upon move in, they want the the last month, the security deposit. A broker fee and a key fee. Can like I wear the hundred dollars for a key? That's three times the monthly rent because it's the security deposit, which you do get back, but still the security deposit, the last month, and the broker fee. That's a lot. So it's total, including the first deposit you put down, is four times monthly rent. Why don't with two additional fees? A key you, man, fee and you should, li- you should live like, in fuck a, that shit. You should live in a managed building. Fuck that shit. I'm not paying four times rent just to move in. I didn't have a to place. pay anything besides and my security deposit was like 200 bucks. How is the security deposit so cheap? They check your credit. Oh. And if your credit's good. Well, okay. That makes sense. Well, I mean, how the fuck is your credit indicative of whether or not you're going to ruin an apartment, though? With it's, a cat or like well, a no, painting? It, or It's a, more your ability to pay. Because what if you... No, the, the security deposit? Yeah, it's your ability to pay for damages is the whole... like. That's stupid. That's why they do that. Well, if you can't, if your credit is bad, you probably can't afford a high security deposit. So that's just exclusionary. Whatever. This all makes me angry. Anyway. Yeah, man, it's a scam. Buy a house. Yeah, that's definitely not a hole in the ground where you shovel money into. A house? Buying a house versus you know, renting? You know, you ever heard that idiom? A house is a hole in the ground that you shovel money into? But you can dig it out after. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. Houses depreciate in value. Houses appreciate in value. If you put money in them. You're really f- angry about this. What are you fucking talking about? Real, How do they appreciate in value? Real you have estate, to put money into them to make them more we'll valuable. The land, man. You, you got to check this out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'll wait for a seller's market then. Real estate is like the most time proven. You shouldn't move to LA to, to sell the house I don't have. What? Real estate is like the best time proven investment strategy. It is if you have upfront money. You have to have money to make money that way. Yeah, you buy a house. Yeah, Start okay. With what money? I think Grayson's referencing the art of the deal. That's who we're talking about right now. You, you want to talk I'm, about the art of the I'm deal? I'm mad that t- that making money takes money. You should get a roommate. And I'm mad that I don't have money. It's very simple. Can you we move sh- on? <laughs> you should move in with uh, I don't know, someone. I I'm, I'm gonna. I'm moving in with three others. Hear me dudes. out. Hear me Sick. out. <laughs> this new apartment. We have three z- dudes in it. Zero to three others. Hear no, me yeah, out. Z- one female to to three dudes. That's that's it, my progression. Hear me out. I know a couple. That has a two bedroom apartment in Cambridge that the they have what's a bedroom the, that's rent? open. What's your rent? Uh it'll be twenty eight, <laughs> June first. Twenty eight hundred? Yes. For a one room for one bedroom. It's a two bedroom. Oh, okay. No, you're leaving. It's that's a two why. bed, okay. two bath parking okay. space. Uh because you're leaving. We're not leaving. What are you talking about there? You He's saying moving room. into here. <laughs> why would it why did you say twenty eight? He asked me what our rent was. Oh. Okay. I you you want to move into your spare room? I don't think you guys I didn't want that. Offer this. I didn't <laughs> why are, Derek, this. why are you offering me to move into Vinny's why spare you, room? Uh, <laughs> uh, Grayson, I don't embrace problems. I embrace maybe solutions. Tyler's I provide maybe provide. Maybe Tyler's moving out. He's moving to where Tyler lives. No, I'm going to pay the 1300 for this apartment with the three random dudes that I don't know that has a spiral staircase Wal- in the move, living room. Move to Waltham. Why would I do that? I don't know. It's cheaper. I'm it not going to. It is cheaper. I'm not going to do that. It wasn't that bad. It's 18 for two bedroom there. And that's because mm. when you got a cat. If you don't have cats, it's even cheaper. Mm. Moody Street. Then I'd have to find a roommate. I already found these dudes. It's in the middle of Boston. It's closer to my work, and it's where not Boston that much is more. it? N- Northeastern. That's oh oh yeah, yeah. Northeastern Mich- College. Hill. It's like yeah, it's like Northeastern like, University. It's like between Back Bay and and Roxbury. Vinny, lift your. Li- li- I want to see how good these this the shirt buckle. Hold on. Shirt. Yeah yeah do 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 some jumping jacks for us so we can see the. Uh, well, I we'll see. Pl- we'll try. Let's see. That's the ultimate test, isn't it? We definitely have to stream this next time. Yeah. Do you remember that one time that we did a live can stream? We, can we do a live stream? 
Oh, right. We're watching because uh, Vinny got up at one point and he put on <laughs> the uh, most adorable cat based apron I've ever seen. It has like a. Um, how would you describe that art, Derek? Uh, it looks like a cat. On Which ass. artist? Which artist would that like a not like a Picasso? Maybe what, what's a like a Frida Kahlo? This is Frida Kahlo. Cat. It looks like a cat on acid drinking wine. Yeah, it looks like what a person on acid would see when they look at a cat, and the cat has a glass of wine in their hand, sitting on a on a big plate, and uh, that's the apron that Vinny, Vinny put on, and Vinny, it was adorable. Your shirt belt is stupid, but it works. It fucking, it works. Have you seen? Have you seen? Um, the uh, dude, perfect. Yeah. The videos with the like, there's them sitting at a desk reviewing items. Yeah. That that's what this reminds me of. Uh, I've never seen. What is it? Cool or not cool? Oh no, I've never seen them do that. I've seen them do dude perfect stuff. Though. They have a segment called Cool or Not Cool, Can and they, and they just like, bring up a bunch how, of random shit. How does it work? Toss it over. It's like a bra strap. It hooks onto your bottom button on your shirt when you wear oh, it. Oh, and it has the uh, the the sti- sticky grippy grip yeah tape. grippy tape Stippy, sticky grippy tape. sticky grippy rubber strip. It works. Okay. Is, I it love it. Uncom- move on. is it uncomfortable? To, to your you know, you feel it. Let's do. Let's do the Derek week. How was the Derek? My week. week. Uh, I was pretty good. I didn't really. Uh, what, uh, I didn't really. I didn't do a whole lot last week, hon. This nice. week has been Thanks. a standard week. I'm really excited for Game of Thrones to come back on Sunday. And. Uh, oh yeah. Are you Ju- gonna watch it on Sunday? Yeah, Julie. Julie and I are. Uh, we have two episodes left in season seven, so we've like wow. torn through it. Caroline, Damn. where are you going? Okay. She's putting air on her bike tire. We're going to need you soon. Have fun. Well, we can do the cat corner at any point. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. I'm Speaking of which, I'm going to... Um, I don't know what reminded me of this just now, but I'm going to Pod Save America wow. after we record this. Wow. It's going to be fun. Uh, also, as we are speaking, uh, SpaceX is getting ready to launch their Falcon Heavy rocket for the second time. The Falcon Heavy rocket from SpaceX is, if you didn't know, three of the Falcon 9 rockets basically just strapped together. Like a little number, like the Roman numerals three, you know. You take three of the rockets and you strap two onto the sides of the middle one. And then it... uh, Why are they doing this? It is the most powerful operational rocket in the world. I thought it was... Is it electric? Is it electric? Yeah. No, it's not an electric rocket. But I thought crazy? all Teslas were, ro- were electric. Tesla is not SpaceX. Oh, silly me. Goober. Oh, shit. Come on, man. Get your Elon companies straight. And they don't make tunnels neither. That's the third this, company. This, this is boring? Yeah, that's the boring company. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, there's like I think Elon Musk said there was like a 5 to 10% chance it would, it would just explode. Sick. So. Is but, Elon riding this one? No, there is a real satellite on this one. The previous one had a car on the top, you might remember. But this Falcon Heavy has a real satellite. Wow. From a real, it is a real reason for it to, to do satellite stuff. So that's pretty exciting. We'll see. Um, it got it was supposed to launch yesterday, and the launch window got pushed to today. And they launch out of Cape Canaveral? Yep. Launch pad 39 I wonder how much they pay to launch there. Do they pay a launch? Yeah, there? yeah, millions of dollars. Wow. It's nuts. Yeah. And they, they're they renting launch pad 39A, which is one of the launch pads that the Saturn V rockets used. The Saturn V moon rockets from the Apollo program, a.k.a. the coolest rocket to have ever existed. And hey. uh, Yeah. They, they rent That's a whole, It's a historic <laughs> launch How are you? I have something even cooler. Yeah. What? JetBlue. My yeah. favorite airline. Yeah has announced that they will be having a route to London starting in 2021. Ooh. From being from Boston? Boston and New York direct. Nice. It's like a six hour flight, right? I think it's a six hour flight. It's like five. I might yeah, take advantage weird. of that. <laughs> yeah. I do like a JetBlue. What do you like better, JetBlue or Delta? I'm a Mosaic member, so JetBlue. <laughs> okay. It's so great. I get free booze on flights, but I never use it. Oh, you should take the booze and then bring it to me. You should do that. <laughs> Take the booze off the flight with you. And then... Uh, mail it. Pour an envelope, Delta, mail yeah, it. I yeah. think Delta, <laughs> Delta, if you fly... You fly a lot into different... Desti- in, like, multiple different destinations. Delta's the... Because they have the better network. What about Southwest? Yeah, I've never flown it's Southwest. Just, flows, just goes to Florida, right? No, Southwest flies all over the U.S. Oh, okay. Yeah. It goes to I've Southwest, not Southeast. Oh, good one. I've taken Southwest to Florida, I think, before. I've taken Delta to Florida, too. I usually fly... Humble, humble brag. JB... 
JetBlue. I'm taking a Spirit Airlines. Gross. <laughs> Vinny and I flew Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But I'm gonna. I'm staying just a weekend, so I'll I'll just have a backpack, so it'll be fine. We, we did the same thing. It was fucking awful. Yeah, it was terrible. It was terrible. Wait, where are you gonna put your back? Was is there no place to? to put a where backpack to? for Lauderdale? How long of a flight is that? Four hours. Oh god. No, it's not a four hour flight. No, it's like three hours. Oh god. It's not even three hours. It's like two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. You know hours. when you ride the T here. Sp- it's more comfortable than Spirit. <laughs> Wait, I don't ride the T here, but okay. It's you mean Spirit? You mean in Boston? Here? Have you yeah, fl- yeah, have you okay. flown Spirit before? No. I oh so first God. off, the terminal is fucking trash. Okay. I'm, yeah, I need to be walked through this. Also, Spirit is fucking trash. Yeah. Yes. No, I know. Have you seen that meme? Like, is there, is there any doctor on this flight? And like, <laughs> bitch, this is a Spirit flight. <laughs> this is a Spirit Airlines. Doctors flight. don't fly Spirit. Doctors <laughs> don't fly Spirit. Oh no. Spirit is awful. 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 So you're pick- saying I'm not going to get any in-flight peanuts? It's you can't it, it literally is flying on a school bus. It's a school bus. Yeah. It's, it's only two and a half hours. It's, it's a school bus. Awful. It's only two and a half hours. Ugh. I'll just keep um, myself that. <laughs> it's um, so cheap, though. Yeah. Did you book your seat yet? No, I haven't booked, Check. Any, I haven't booked, any, I haven't booked anything yet. You got to pay for that. Oh, to book it? Yeah, you got to pay to book your seat. You got to pay for a backpack, I Everything think. costs no. money. Oh, it's no? a personal item. Oh, okay. You have to pay for a carry-on, though. Oh. Everything costs money on Spirit. Yeah. Well, I'm probably gonna get a. You want to sleep? You got to pay for probably it. Probably gonna get some booze on it. But other than that, I'm just. It's just the only ticket. reason why Vinny and I, I don't need anything else. Flew Spirit is because we, when we go to New Orleans, we went for a festival. You're gonna lose your phones. No, they're fine. They're right, they're okay. right here. And uh, we had the ticket spot way in advance for the festival, but I completely forgot about, about booking the island. You told me this. You just the neglected flight to get the and tickets, accommodations. Yeah. So Oopsie. I booked all that like two weeks in advance. Great. Oopsie. Spirit. Oopsie, oopsie. That's the, hotel, the spirit. The hotel was fine. Yeah, it's a hotel. Yeah. So, anyway, what were we talking about? SpaceX? Uh, I don't know. JetBlue. JetBlue. Oh, yeah, JetBlue. <laughs> yeah, JetBlue's going to offer London routes. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, so I'm really excited. Um. Oh, yeah. Did you did you, uh, you guys remember I told you about the Israeli um, lunar lander bear no. sheet? No, I don't yes. recall. I told... I, I think you were here for that. Uh, so, Israel launched through a, space, through a SpaceX rocket, actually on a Falcon 9, uh, a spacecraft called um, Bereshit, which means, I think, uh, in the beginning okay, in Hebrew. Um, and it's uh, their space company is called Space IL, or Space Israel. And um, they launched this uh, lunar lander okay, with hopes of being the fourth country to ever land a lunar lander on the moon. Um, it didn't make it. <laughs> Oh it, no! It was uh, it was in transit for a month, and it just got there, and it didn't make it. What it, do you mean? It didn't it crash on landing? It, it crashed. It it was it was doing its descent burn. It orbited. It was orbiting the moon correctly, and during the descent burn, the engine cut out at ten miles above the lunar surface, and it uh, impacted the lunar surface, going a, more than a thousand meters per second. That sounds fast. I hope they have insurance on it. Um, so they were not the fourth country to land something on the moon, but they were the fourth country to touch the moon. I guess that's something. That's so. That's something. Money well spent. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wikipedia entry. Here we come. The uh, the lunar lander. Yeah, it didn't make it. To the, it made it to the surface, but uh, it made it to the surface in a lot of pieces. So that that was very very sad. <laughs> Yikes. No. Yeah. Um, in other news, Uber has filed their IPO. Oh, they did? Yep. How do you think that's going to go? Probably pretty well. S- okay. Yeah. I saw the same, I saw yeah. a, like a, a subheader between that, or below that article saying basically that Lyft is a horrible investment. I was like, I disagree with these what? two. Why do you disagree with that? These two headers. He's because biased. I, well, I'm biased. I'm biased, first of all, because I used to work for Lyft. Second of all, uh, I think that Lyft has a better ethos than Uber generally why yeah but because uber keeps getting in trouble for doing the absolute worst thing and everything against the consumer's in best interest like what well they killed a person because they turned off safety features on their self-driving test vehicle so did boeing yeah so did boeing boeing is also awful for that um they also leaked that well they didn't leak it but they had their account info for like all of their customers stolen by hackers. That's bad. Then they paid the bribe to the hackers and then they paid somebody else to keep it covered up and not tell the the customers. That's what Uber did. 
Um, Lyft didn't do any of that. Uh, you know it was bad because there was a, there was a, at one point during a uh, past like year they were Uber was running a shit ton of ad campaigns based around the fact that they were under oh, a new yeah, CEO, I, I remember that. a new management, and it, when your main selling point as a company is promising to stop fucking up because you got new management, that's not the best camp. That's not the best company, you know. I prefer my Lyft companies where they uh. They used to have pink mustaches in all their cars, and uh, they prided themselves on being friendlier to customers and their drivers. They I've never used Lyft in my life. Treat their drivers better. They treat their customers better. I use Lyft every once in a while. It's better than Uber. Anywho, also it's more accountable than Uber. Like you ever to get it? Like I've heard so many stories of people who take Ubers and Lyfts, and they always say the same thing: you don't see as many scary middle eastern men driving a lift as you do uber that's highly i found that to be like, what did you just say like scary middle eastern men scary non-english speaking like predator looking predator acting guys i've had a lot of female friends tell me that they had very very scary uber drivers and that's why they switched to lyft it was because the drivers on uber are terrifying i've never heard this yeah i haven't either okay well Sounds something that Caroline, Lyft can you confirm or deny these reports? Did we set up a mic for her? No. I don't take Ubers or Lyfts that often, and I rarely ever take them alone, so I feel like I can't comment. You haven't had any friends who have shared these experiences with you? No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, Caroline, it's, it's while you're me here, against do you want to do Caroline's corner? <laughs> Cat yeah, corner. Caroline's cat corner. Do you want to do it? You sh- you can take Vinny's mic. He'll be annoying the whole time. Thank you, Vinny, for the intro. Hi, this is Caroline for Caroline's Hi, Caroline. cat corner. So, first of all. I'm going to just briefly update you all on my week. I did get a job offer today for a new job. Woo! So, yay. Yay. That's, that's good. Um, so, Caroline's Cat Corner. Let's see. Do you think you're going to take it? Probably. Cool. Probably. We'll see. Probably. Um, Pippa, I worked from home today, as some of you may know that sometimes I work from home. And uh, today, Pippa coughed up a hairball Ooh. and uh, threw up. Fun. In three Fun. places in the apartment, oh on the God. couch, on the floor, and on the carpet. Wow. Am I sitting on the part of the couch? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Rub it in. Sorry. I did clean it up, though. Okay. These are expensive pants, so I hope it's fine. Um. Yeah. I mean, I, I laid on it okay. after okay. I cleaned it up, so I think you're okay. Okay, cool. Um. So that's that's an update on Pippa. A La croc. Um, LaCroix. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Other than that, Pippa's doing well. I think right now she uh she is uh, getting ready for work. She's her little tie on. Getting ready for work. That should be we that should be our Instagram picture for this episode. Yeah. Okay. I think so. Sounds like a good plan. I think so. Can you get her Vinny? Are you excited for your five K? Yeah, I am. I am. I think. I think. Oh, the other thing is that I am going to run the Falmouth Road Race for charity. This Ooh, year. my mother r- Ooh. ran that like t- twenty years ago. But yeah, I mean, it's been it's around forever. Miles. It's seven do you, miles. Do you uh, pay your own admission fee, or do you get uh, sponsors? Um. So I mean, it's for charity. So I I have to raise a thousand dollars. Um. So far, I'm at twenty percent of my goal. Two, but so two hundred dollars. Yes, two hundred dollars. Do you get um, like people to donate? Yeah, like okay. I sent an email to my family and some friends. Okay. And asked them to donate. If you guys want to donate, we can talk about it offline. <laughs> um, but I would guess no. <laughs> um, uh, what what's, yeah. the, what's the cause for? It's a charity called Be Like Brit. So I've um, heard of Be Like Brit. Everybody yeah, knows it's Be a, like Brit. Um, a I'll donate a girl that was killed in the Haiti earthquake, and her family built uh an orphanage 
in her name and it provides like homes and education to like kids in Haiti that were affected by tragedies. So it's a very, very noble cause. I think it's good. I'll donate. It's good. I just really like that her family uh, kind of like, you know, took something tragic and made it into something positive. I think that and that hits home for me. So that's what I'm doing. Very respectable. Nice. So yeah, back to the cat corner. Peppa likes her laser now. And we seem to be getting along now. So that's do good. You, do you play with her with the laser? No. That's Vinny's job. Okay. Vinny talking to the cat is so funny. Yeah, he's obsessed with her. They're obsessed obsessed with each other. Do they snuggle? Yes. He's he's like staring at us from the other room. She doesn't really snuggle with me. Vinny has to be gone for like a couple of days before she'll snuggle with me. Oh. Yeah. Poo poo. Well, that's what he says. Poo poo. I call her poo poo. I don't know if she likes it. <laughs> she likes it when Vinny does it. <laughs> I don't know that cats can understand their names. Still have not heard conclusive evidence. Okay, this is the end of Caroline's cat One corner. Vincent, here you go. Just say hello to a brand new world. It's just outside your door. Now that Pan Am and National are one, you can fly Pan Am to 25 great U.S. cities like Washington, D.C., Las Vegas, and New Orleans and get the kind of international service that's made us famous. Say hello to Pan Am. Say hello to a brand new world. Say hello to Pan Am. And we have a Vinny back in the... Crooked. Saddle. Oh, go get her. Go get her. Of no. His favorite rocking chair. Hey, here he is. <coughs> Glad to be back. Hey. Should we do more news? I don't know. Whatever you want to do. All right. We got more news. Uh, entertainment news. Oh, great. Let's do it. It's his favorite. What's, this is the favorite. We got to do the entertainment news. It's the news. favorite. What's going on in entertainment? Uh, well, Lori Laughlin. Are we talking about Lori that? Lori Laughlin definitely going to prison. 100% going to prison. She, did you see, like, she thought, like, the judge or the DA. Was like bluffing, so she rejected her plea. Yep. And now they just tacked on like more charges. Yep. That's wicked funny. Would she think it was a fucking like dress rehearsal? Yeah, she legit thought she wasn't getting jail time. That's so fucking funny. I hope I hope she gets even more jail time than she was already going to get. Yeah. She's going for life without parole. <laughs> Death no, penalty. I think the Death max, penalty. I think the Kill maximum her. sentence is twenty years. On each. Fuller House. Give her give her twenty years on Fuller House. <laughs> That's definitely Was that bad? I never watched it. It was bad. It depends. But I hated Full House, so don't take my. Do you guys life. like ah! the show? Do you guys, do you guys like the oh. show Friends? No. no, I fucking hate Friends. I don't no. like Friends either. It's just, it's just what white people dream about New York looking like, but it's not. Takes place in New York. It's realistic. Takes place in Seattle or something. Friends? No, Friends is New York. Oh. You wouldn't even think know that from like watching it though, because it doesn't look like fucking New York at all. Yeah, it looks like like a, a whitewashed a whitewashed suburb or a. Can sound we talk stage? about sports yeah. now? We uh, well, we, we got to get through the entertainment entertainment, entertainment section. Okay. Um, Hellboy is fucking shit. It's got a twelve percent on Rotten Tomatoes. You can't trust Rotten Tomatoes though. Yeah, well, you can't trust Rotten Tomatoes when the uh, the uh, incels you know storm it. But I don't think this was an incels problem. Just find a critic you like and listen to them. Not. 40 different critics what if critics they're wrong whatever. one time that's that happens do it you does, think Hellboy it wasn't shit it doesn't look good do you think Hellboy his, wasn't his good? arm is way too big I just heard that it was it's too it was big. a two hour movie that felt that feels like a three hour movie really? and apparently these are the, this wow. is what the this is what the Metacritic reviews were saying yikes was that it's a two hour movie that feels like a three hour movie it doesn't really go anywhere None of the plot beats land. It's too loud, apparently. Like the editing wise, it just it just not edited well. It looks like it's made for twelve year olds to like think it's cool because it's rated R and they swear and it's gory. Yeah, it's I saw movie. I saw Captain Marvel. Oh yeah, how'd you like it? I liked it. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Vinny, I thought it was all right. I didn't say it was bad. I thought it was all right. I thought yeah. I thought oh, okay. I thought you lo- I thought you disliked it a little bit more strongly, but I th- I thought it was pretty good for an origin movie. Yeah. yeah. I really liked uh, Nick Fury's CGI, his de yeah. Like you could not even tell. No, it was so seamless. Like it really looked like it was young Nick. Um, 
Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, fuck. You missed your shot. Yeah, no. Next time. Um. Yeah, he he looked like he looked like he didn't Pulp Fiction. It was wild. Yeah. They also had did, a you, pulp did you fic- like the Pulp Fiction reference? Yeah. <laughs> Mother flurkin. And that that the part in dr- the drinking the, the uh, drinking yeah the, the that was the same cup. Did you see the side by side? No. There's a side by side comparison. It's the exact same cup. Really? Yeah. He comes where the the alien dude comes in. Samuel L. is just so awesome. He is. <laughs> he's like, what is the line he says to the guy when he's holding the cup? I'm gonna complicate that wall with your brains. Something like that. I don't Something remember. like that. Uh, it's so fucking good. Two weeks. End game. End game's out. End Two game. weeks. I got my tickets. tickets. You guys get your tickets. I did. I did uh, my tickets. No, I'm just trying to find the 2 p.m. showing. I got the 10 a.m. showing on Sunday. I'm going on Friday before D and D. I'm trying to go on Saturday. A uh, Marvel movie, the newest Marvel movie. We talked this for like 20 minutes the other night. We talked about this the last time I was here too. I explained it to you <laughs> literally seven days ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so Hellboy is shit. Marvel, uh, sorry, Marvel. Captain Marvel was good and Endgame looks fucking amazing. I stopped watching trailers. I haven't seen the latest trailer. I'm isolating myself. You mean Marvel? Um, <laughs> speaking of Marvel, uh, Shazam is doing very well in the box I, office. I heard, People I heard, like it. I heard it has a good script. And I say speaking of Marvel because that's a, a little comic book reference for all the you uh, all you nerds listening out there. You would get this. Uh, Shazam's superhero name in the DC comic book is Captain Marvel. His original name. They renamed him for the movie, but his original character name Why? for his superhero How? self is Captain Marvel. Tell me more. It's a fascinating story. It, it, it was basically such that... Uh, the story is that there's a, there's a boy who's an orphan, and he meets a magical ancient wizard named Shazam, who gives him he he sees the good in the boy's heart and gives him uh, a sliver of his powers, and uh, basically says if you say my name as the magic word, you will turn into a superhero, and the superhero has the powers of five gods and a king Solomon, for some reason. That's one of the other parts of his power set. So he has the powers of five legendary gods and King Solomon. And the name of this hero is Captain Marvel. Unrelated and intellectually distinct in every way from Marvel's Captain Marvel. One has a penis, other has a vagina. Well, the original Captain Marvel for Marvel Comics was also a male. So he's trans. He's also a dude. Wow. No, Marvel was oh, a, was God. a dude. I'm sorry. Marvel was a guy. I'm sorry. Uh, Carol Danvers absorbed the powers of the Psych Magnetron's explosion that Marvel created, and got her powers from Marvel's Psych Magnetron machine. Annette Benning. Yes, Annette Benning. Uh, in, in except Annette Benning in uh, Captain Marvel, the new movie is a uh, female and not a dude named Marvel. So they they gender bent Marvel to be a woman. And instead of the hey, psych magnetron, it's, it's the, a light speed engine. It's the nineties. You can do what you want. And instead of the psych magnetron, it's the light speed engine. But the light speed engine is powered by the tesseract. Yes. So she actually got her powers from the tesseract, just yes. like. Um. Well, actually, no one really else got the powers from that. The because the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver got their powers the from the Mind Stone. The Mind Stone, yeah, which was in Loki's scepter. Yeah. Are you guys gonna go to the fifty-six hour? Marvel Marathon before you watch Endgame. No. No, he where's that? Smell. Some theaters are doing it. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine the smell in that theater? No, that sounds awful. <laughs> People are sweating popcorn. Do you know that Nick Cage was married to a woman for like four days? I yeah. heard about this. He was drunk. This is wait, ridiculous. They that got married sound, in Vegas. Sounds like, that literally sounds like Nick Cage. Went back for like, f- four days later and got an annulment. Nick, I mean, Nick Cage is kind of a shit show. It's like it's a that's hilarious. It's so look, funny. You look up Nick 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 Cage like he's, an, past, he's insane. Past couple of years of news <laughs> is wild. <laughs> he's insane. Like he's just riding off of what Ghost Rider. I think he does like a, <laughs> National Treasure is a great movie. So don't don't jab at that. It is a it's a fucking national treasure, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> it is a national treasure. But I I I recall seeing an article about him. He's he was like. I think he might have spent all his money or something. I don't know. Yeah, if that's he true. went from 125 million dollar net worth to a five million. He bought net worth. dinosaurs. Did he? Yeah, I, well, I saw. I saw him doing appearances. Real in like ones. The Ukraine. I think so. 
Like for money, he did appearances in like the Ukraine. Why not the the Ukraine? Yeah. Do you, he, mean, do you mean Ukraine? I do mean Ukraine. It sounds better <laughs> than Ukraine. It's so Speaking dumb. Speaking of Ukraine, do you guys pump for the HBO miniseries Chernobyl? Oh, I'm no, excited. Now for I it. am though. I didn't the know trailer about this. Looks awesome. I wasn't until the, the just trailer now. looks awesome. I'm gonna watch that trailer. Is it a scary? What is it? A documentary? What it's is a it? A miniseries on the events. Oh, okay. Is it gonna be scary? I thought it was gonna be a scary zombie movie about. I Chernobyl. used to love if it, if it was COD One or COD Two. COD M- Modern Warfare. Was it Modern Warfare? Modern I Warfare. think so. With yeah. the Chernobyl map. Call of Duty yeah. Four. Modern Warfare. Because that's the scene where you're sniping from the roof of the buildings yeah. in Chernobyl, right? That's a great it's, game. Uh, it's all gillied up or something like that. Yeah, you're all gillied up. Yeah. COD COD Modern Warfare One and Two were such good games. They were they were pretty good. Yep. Came out in I really 2007. Liked, I think it was Black Ops or Black COD, Ops Two. Modern Warfare didn't come out in 2007. Yes, it did. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Yes, it did. Same as Assassin's first Assassin's Creed. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, we are around old. The s- around the same time as Iron Man. Iron Man One came out two thousand eight. Yep. Mm-hmm. Isn't that wild? I'm you want to feel old? I'm, I'm having a bit of a crisis. Yeah, right you want to feel old? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, what else happened? I went to the bathroom. Um, when? Yesterday. It was a f- it was kind of full in the bathroom, so I went to the stall to do number one. Oh. And I lifted the seat up and I did it. Yeah. And I walked out to the sink and a guy using the urinal peeked in there, saw that I lifted the seat up and came over to me and thanked me for lifting the seat. Wow. <laughs> wow that's the it dumbest thing I've ever very heard. Very awkward. Uh, I was like, he's like, yeah, can you believe people don't lift the seat up? And I'm like, yeah, I can believe it. Can you believe that people try to talk to each other in the bathroom sometimes? I'm like, watch me trying to walk out. He keeps talking to me. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Why, why does this keep happening to you? I feel like this happens to you more than other people. Just have a face for it. Yeah. Trusting face. People just want to talk to me and get to their secrets. Did you hear that Michael Avenatti is getting indicted by a grand jury for well, stealing clients' money? Who's Michael Avenatti? He was Stormy Daniels' lawyer. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And he wanted to. Re- he, he announced a run for president. How's that going for him? Yeah, not too good considering a grand jury just indicted him for stealing. Can he president from prison? Uh, probably. Ask Donald Trump. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> He'll make it work. <laughs> Executive time is just is this prison time or yeah, yard time? Yeah, I mean, literally, it's all he does anyway. His his White House is a prison to him. Good for him. He hasn't felt the the touch of a woman in two years. <laughs> I'm sure he has a Mori Lago. Oh, true. I didn't think of that. Do you guys want to talk about sports? Yeah. Um, sure. The Bruins have their first playoff game tonight. Against who? The Toronto oh, Maple Leafs. Oh, yeah, it's Leafs. the playoffs. I forgot about the bl- that. The Maple Leafs? Yeah. Are they, gonna, are they gonna win? Are they do what, are they hot? I think so. They're, yeah, they're very good. Didn't this one year. of them get a concussion or something? Are you the thinking Bruins? Of, yeah, on the Bruins. I think Didn't the Celtics to get a concussion? Like recently? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No. Hmm. Are they playing at home or away? Home. Nice. Let's see. Uh, the Red Sox have the Blue Jays in town, so two Toronto teams. But they're in not town. doing too hot though right now. The Red Sox, the Red like Sox three and nine or something. Very bad start to the season. Yeah, Ooh, yikes. season's over. Call it quits. Yeah, right that's now. that's a that's a no World Cup for them. Um, the Masters. <laughs> Fuck the, the Masters started today. World Series. Very excited. Yeah, that's love golf, right? Love the Masters. The Masters is the okay. best. Um, sounds uh sounds interesting. It's very interesting. Uh, I think the s- NBA playoffs start this weekend. Celtics are playing. Uh, Is I think March Madness over. Yeah, March Madness has been over since Monday. All right. Uh, yeah. I think the I believe the Pacers and Celtics kick off the series, and then I'm gonna confirm that right now. Who's and the best Celtics player? Is it Hayward or is uh, it? Uh, it's Kyrie. Yeah, yeah, that's right. The Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Jason Ta- Jason Tatum could be up there too. Boston Uprising uh, won three reverse sweeps in a row. Cheaters. What do you mean cheaters? I don't know. They're Celtics Pacers. Their enemy. 1 p.m. on Sunday. Celtics Pacers. Damn. Where's the Pacers from? Indiana. No. Oh. That's why uh, I've never heard of them. And then <laughs> I, hear UFC. They, I hear they keep losing because they can't pace themselves. Okay. Go away. Uh, <laughs> you're, U- off the, and you're off the pod. UFC has a pay-per-view this weekend. People watch those still. Yeah, they pay it's, for them too. It's yeah, like the, it's like but they don't go. They, they don't keep making them because people keep paying for them. Nuts. It's like one of the like fastest growing sports. I remember this one time this guy on Twitch was live streaming. It yeah, he was it. pretending to play. He's pretending to play with the controller the whole time. He didn't get a TOS from it. Thought he was playing a game. Yeah. Um, Terms of service the, TOS. Those are my uh, sports updates. We got a we got some politics corner. It's real uh, fun. We don't have enough time for the politics corner. We'll just skip over it real quick. Trump bad. Trump bad. W- Warren good. Warren good. Uh, Amy Klobuchar is the moderate's 
best chance at winning. Oh, the, the, the department. The uh, she's the one from Georgia. No, she's from it, Utah. Didn't the Iowa? No. Didn't Sh- the person Illinois. from Homeland Security get fired? Yeah, Kristen. Resigned? Kristen Nielsen. It this is what I wanted to it talk did about. Did it her next in line? Yes. So this is what I wanted resigned. to talk about. It's really, it's a really, really funny story. What happened was Kristen Nielsen said, "Trump, Mr. Trump, I know you've come to me wanting to reinstate the child separation policy, but like three courts and like a bill or something." fucking stopped us from doing it it's literally illegal for us to keep doing it now from court orders and trump was like not good enough you're fired and said we're gonna we're gonna put in our own person but he forgot that there's a second in line and that the the secretary of homeland security is a cabinet it's a it's a senate appointed position or senate confirmed position yeah which means that it goes through line of succession which means that the second in line, the lieutenant secretary of Homeland Security, becomes the secretary of Homeland Security. So he fired Kristen Kristen Nielsen thinking that he could just put in his own lackey, didn't realize that it would follow line of succession, and then afterwards had to also fire the second in line so that he could put in an acting secretary. He's a total piece of shit. He's just the worst human in America. (sighs) He's the worst person. And all of this, literally all of this, just because he wants to reinstate the child separation policy. Oh my God. That's why he did all of that. Because she wouldn't do it, even though she's hard hard right Republican, she literally can't do it because it's against the law to, for her to reinstate it. And he said that's not good enough and fired her and the lieutenants. It's fucking crazy. When is the Mueller report coming out? It's already out. But it's super redacted. It? No, it's not even out and redacted. It's out, but it's it's... The only person who has access to it is William Barr, yeah, the Attorney General. Mean. When is it? Pub- what, when is the Congress? It will be it? out when the House Democrats submit the subpoena to no, William Barr. I thought they did. They haven't submitted it yet because there's a formal process they have to go through where the Democrats in the House have to ask him nicely, so that when he says no and they subpoena him, they can't challenge it in the courts, saying, "Well, you didn't ask nicely first. So if oh. they if they go through all the proper channels first and then subpoena, there's a greater chance that they would win any court appeals okay. regarding the subpoena. So they're doing this process very intentionally. I think they're doing it too slowly, as does everybody in the fucking country, but the House Democrats know what they're doing, and they're doing it. Did you guys see uh, John Kerry and Massey going at it? No, I don't know what this is. Oh, that was the Kentucky guy? Yeah, he's trying to like so call out funny. John Kerry. For uh, not knowing enough about science to be arguing climate change, <laughs> and he's literally like, "What is your degree, sir?" And John Kerry's like, "Uh, political." Or well, what, no, no, no. What the, the fuck's his degree? No, the guy goes. The guy goes. Uh, you have a bachelor. You have a bachelor. degree. A bachelor of science. He goes. Uh, no, I. You know, I, I have a bachelor of science in political science. Or yeah, whatever. that's what it was. Yeah. And he's like, so you're like a pseudo science yeah, scientist. Yeah. It's like, it's a bachelor degree. So not a f- not a doctorate or no, he's a like, master's. It's like it's a liberal arts degree or whatever. It's, it's a it's say. a bachelor's degree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this this guy like just. Bachelor- oh, it was a bachelor of arts thing. Okay. Uh, okay. And this guy would not. This guy thought he was so smart. He's yeah. from Kentucky. Oh. So take so take that with however you want to <laughs> take that. And um, he was just like questioning the like it it was the stupidest fucking questioning of all time. Yes. He and like carry carries like this is. Like he was like, did you call Trump's cabinet kangaroo court? He goes, <laughs> and Carrie's like, no, I'm calling this committee a kangaroo committee, and it was, it was great. Oh, this was a this was a congressional testimony. Yeah. yeah. Or some oh, show. I thought this was an interview. It was great on like a like a news. It station. was insane. Like this guy, the what, what's the senator's name? Massey. He he is the head Jesus of the committee. Christ. He's the chairman of the committee. He's an idiot and in the Senate. A, Moron. He must be in the Senate. He's so dumb. He's a complete idiot. He's the senator from Kentucky, so he represents his people. He's so dumb. Boom, roasted. Climate change isn't real. Climate change isn't real because the weather changes. Things change. The funniest part. God. Oh, the argument was cold over. Outside. The ar- ar- the argument was over CO2 parts per million yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And the guy couldn't understand. So like basically quick little, little science lesson. Oh, I know so, what parts per million yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Well, no. But but the, the listener might not. So like the say. <laughs> The, uh, a safe amount is 400 parts parts per million. Yeah, Am I PPM. correct on that? PPM. Um, right now, we're like 450. And the lowest on record in the last 800 
thousand years, I think, is like four oh six or something like that. So it's still above. And <laughs> Massey was trying to say like, oh, it's not dangerous because like during like during Cretaceous period, yeah, <laughs> it was like it was like five hundred or it something. was it, it no, it was like way over. It, yeah, it was something like that. And like <laughs> John Kerry just like. Yeah, because there were so many like different changes happening. He's like, we weren't here. Yeah, the guy. Just, and like, then the dinosaurs died. <laughs> yeah, but it's cool, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Windmills cause cancer, so we can't. Windmills do it. cause cancer. Did you hear about windmills? Cause I haven't cancer? heard about this one actually. Trump at a rally was saying that windmills cause cancer. Huh? Yee yee yee. <laughs> I hate windmill cancer. <laughs> oh God! I lost my uncle that way. It was really oh. sad. What else did he say in that same rally that was also in know. the news? I don't know. So fucking dumb. I try to avoid Trump at all times. And there was another thing. Oh, he said, um, wow, what the fuck was it? Um, oh, it was that William Barr in his congressional testimony, the attorney general was like, it was, it was, it was like a committee hearing on the funding for the FBI or something. So, and the, uh, the attorney general had to be there cause he's like in charge of the FBI or something. Anyway, it was like a funding thing for the Department of Justice. and The, the DOJ. Yeah, so the Attorney General was there because he's the leader of the Department of Justice. And during this like oversight hearing for the budget, they were like asking him all these other random questions. And he made this ridiculous claim. The Attorney General made this like a di- ridiculous claim that the Mueller report confirms Trump's uh, claim that the previous administration was spying on him which is like the dumbest thing that anybody has ever heard and then like jim comey came out and said that's bullshit i don't know why the fuck he said that and like normally you know if you're privy to that kind of like classified shit you just would no comment it but then yeah. jim comey james comey comes out of fucking nowhere un unlike prompted and is like that guy's lying yeet <laughs> like what the fuck Republican Jim Comey. Jesus Christ. Well, this was a great podcast. Carolyn um, has a receipt. She's not listening. I can't I can't wait for the subpoena to go through. You have Caroline a receipt? went so to C V S to buy Yeah, that's milk a that's about a, that's about average. And allergy medication. That's about Look an those average. Coupons, imagine yeah, that's a lot of coupons. Imagine if they strictly just digitize their they coupons. Do. They do. If you have a CVS account, you can be they, like, they don't sh- print them on the receipt, give them to my phone. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, but look at that. You can, it's a setting coupons. in the app. It's a setting in the app on, for your account. You can go to your account settings and turn off the receipts. It's her, Get your it's own her, CVS card then. It's her dad's CVS card. Yeah. She has a Wegmans card, but not a CVS That's card. A long, it was like as tall as she was. Yeah. The whole receipt. Tall receipt. Well, this is a great podcast. Tired. We'll see you again next week. Maybe. Maybe the week after. Maybe climate change will end us all. That's true. Okay. Bye bye. Have fun. Bye. Yeet. Bye. Yeet. Ellen and Derek. <laughs>